cold tonight, buddy. Think you're gonna stay warm, okay? Loves you. Loves you, baby. Loves you, boy. So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. The afternoon chores are done. I've already taken you through a basic showing of how I make biscuits, my biscuits. It varies from time to time, but it's the basic rundown. So when you see those clips, I'm gonna put the portions on there for you because everybody always asks. But here is the what, here is what is the most important thing today. I wanna show you this down here. This is my great, great grandmother's marble slab that she made biscuits on and it was gifted to me and today i cleaned it got it out cleaned and cleaned and cleaned it we have perfected it it's tennessee marble and i'm gonna make biscuits on it so this video is not just to show you how i make biscuits or just biscuits in general this is going through the process of literally making biscuits for the first time on my great great grandmother's marble slab so here we go. One more thing before you ask. I'm using White Lily, plain white all-purpose flour, White Lily. Then I'm gonna be cutting my biscuit. I just got a new one in the mail today. This is what I use as my favorite, favorite biscuit cutter ever. I've used everything on the planet and this is the best thing since sliced bread. I'll put the link down below. Good enough to get more of them. And then I always prep and clean my cast iron with my chainmail scrubbers. I keep two by my sink. It even finished off cleaning this marble today. They are the bomb. Down below in the description, I'm telling you, ultimate Christmas presents. So we've got our precious dog snoring in the background. I've already got all of the two cups of flour sifted and all the dry ingredients in there. And then I placed four to six bats or tabs or Plots or plats or plots, <laughs> I don't really measure y'all, of your fat, which I'm using Crisco. You can use butter or you can use lard. So you can see I'm just working in the fat. Okay, so I have got all of everything worked into the flour. You can see the texture right there. Now this time I'm gonna be using real buttermilk. I had to buy buttermilk at the store for another recipe. I didn't have to, but I did. Uh, you can usually make your own buttermilk. I do in most of my videos. Look at that. I make my own buttermilk with one cup milk and some vinegar. But this time we actually bought buttermilk. So right now I'm just going to work that into the dough. Taking my French rolling pin, getting her nice and floured up, and we're going to roll it out.
All right, we've got them ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna do about 425. You can do 400 to 450 depending on your oven, okay? So that varies, be able to understand that. And we're gonna put it in there for about 15 minutes, maybe up to 18. Again, it depends on the recipe, depends on the oven, but we're gonna enjoy it. This is good. So the biscuits are cooking. They've only got about five minutes left and they're smelling awesome. So I'm just really excited to take you along with me to do this because if you follow my channel, if you, there she is, if you follow my channel, if you, you know, know how much I love ancestry and genealogy and claiming my roots and all of these sorts of things, guys, it's so important that you understand where you come from. So to you, this is a marble slab. I get that. To me, this is sustainability that made my generations continue forward. That's why I'm here. This is what fed people. This is where my grandmother worked. This is how she fed her family and all the work that she put into being a housewife and a mother and a grandmother and a great grandmother. So to have this in my kitchen now is an honor and I'm really excited. And so you'll be seeing this in a lot of videos to come. Get these biscuits out. All right, guys, I think they turned out great. I think my great great grandmother approves. <laughs> we like to think so, don't we? Guys, we appreciate you watching us here at Appalachia's Homestead. We hope that you're learning and growing and reconnecting as much as we are certainly trying to as well. We appreciate you following us on our journey. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button down below. Because you know why? Granny says so. See you on the next video.